antennas may have the biggest impact on your HF operating performance. We'll cover why we picked our NFED half-wave antenna. Make sure you're safe before you start running lines. Get our distant end into the tree. Mount the end with the ballon. Let's get into the details. KN4 NEH, this is N4 hey, Jim, I, hear I hear you loud and clear. clear. You Jack know what? KM0 I bumped into Jack a few minutes ago. Let me see if we. Why are we using a wire antenna? Well, number one, it's affordable. It's really easy to get started with. And number two, it's portable. You can throw this in a go bag, and even as you get more advanced antennas, you're never gonna outgrow this. You can always use it. Specifically, we're using an end-fed antenna. Now, that's important because if this was a dipole antenna, there'd be a little bit more things to consider when we're hanging this up. So the first thing that we need in order to hang up this wire antenna is a nice, big, tall object in order to hang it up. So in your area, you may be able to look for some sort of structure or a tree in your backyard. Anything like that should do, as long as you've got some room to sort of move the antenna around. The other important thing to discuss here is safety. What we're looking for in order to hang this up is some sort of high object that's unobstructed and that isn't gonna cause any safety hazards. We definitely don't wanna be close to any power lines because touching a power line with an antenna could cause a deadly shock. We also wanna make sure that we have a clear area because we're gonna to need to launch or throw this antenna up into the tree as we'll demonstrate here in a moment. And we just wanna make sure no one gets knocked in the head with a tennis ball or other object. All right, so you're probably asking yourself, how am I gonna get a piece of rope or string 30 or 50 feet up in the air to hang the antenna? Well, there's lots of great options for this. You can tie that piece of rope or string to a tennis ball or a football. If you've got a good arm, you can throw it up. If you got a drone and you're super fancy, you can use a drone. Probably the tennis ball or football is the easiest thing. In our case, we have a little special guest from Professor N4BFR, the tennis ball launcher powered by pressurized air that we're gonna to use to launch our string up. Ready, aim, fire. That was perfect. All right, so we followed our tennis ball over to the other side of the branch where it landed after the launch. And you can see in our case, we used a really thin line. We used sort of this fishing line. So what we're gonna do in our case is disconnect this fishing line and tie it up to a thicker rope. And we're gonna pull it over and then use this thicker rope in order to pull up our antenna. Now, if you started with a thicker rope when you first launched your tennis ball over your branch, this might be an unnecessary step. We just wanna use a thicker rope, something that's got a little bit heavier gauge that can pull the weight of our antenna when we pull it over the branch in the second place. So let's go do it. We've got our fishing line over and we've got our thicker line tied on the other side. So I'm gonna pull this back and pull my heavier gauge rope over the tree. We have our wire antenna, the end of the wire antenna with an insulator on the end. And we're going to place the rope through the hole of the antenna and tie it off with a strong knot. If you were in Boy Scouts and you know how to tie knots, this will help here. Otherwise, just improvise your knot and you can get it done. One thing that's important to note is that our insulator here is a very important and nice touch. You can see here that the rope is not touching the wire and the insulator is ensuring that the rope does not touch the wire. So even if this wire was to get struck by lightning or otherwise become electrically charged, we are physically insulated from the wire as we're going through this exercise. So an important safety tip as you're installing your wire antenna. So I've got my pulley system installed with the rope, got my insulator, and I've got my, in, my wire in-fed antenna headed back this way, so I've got room to pull this up. And now I'm just gonna start pulling on this pulley system. And as you'll see, my wire is gonna start getting lifted up into the tree. Now my goal is to get this end of this wire as close to the branch of the top of my tree as I can. I don't need to hang it over a bunch. I just want it to be sort of close to the end of that tree. My rope is being used right now to kind of keep that end of the wire in place. So I'm gonna take this end of the rope and I'm gonna kind of snug it around the end of the tree just so my wire doesn't come loose.
All right, and that'll work for now. Okay, so now that we have our distant end set up of the uh, N-fed dipole, that's about 135 feet away. We're gonna set up the feed line end, which is closer to our shack. First thing we're gonna do, get a little string in the air so we can elevate it above our heads. All right, here's our line. Just use a little carabiner as a weight to throw it in so it doesn't get stuck up in the tree. We've got a nice line. Let's uh, cut it and connect it to the end of our uh, dipole antenna. So we'll just feed our line in through the hole here. All right, so we've got the ballon end of our infed dipole. It's ready to go up in the tree, but before we do that, we need to connect the coax. This is an SO239. This is a PL259. They're made to match up. We just push and screw tighten, and we're ready to put it up in the tree. I'm just gonna grab this end of the string and hoist it up until it's taut. And luckily I've got the antenna I can use to help me guide it as I go along. Let's tie this off to the tree. All right, let's go through what we've got here. We've got our coax connected to the feed line end of our N-fed dipole antenna. That's hooked up into the tree about eight or nine feet up. This keeps anybody from walking into it and also helps protect against radiation issues. From here, we've run it 135 feet to the other side of the yard. We've got it 40 feet up in a tree where we shot the line. That gives us an 80 meter NFED dipole ready to go. Hope you find this excerpt from our HF Masterclass really helpful in getting started with NFED antennas. Note that this is a temporary setup and it does not cover lightning and grounding. Please read more about those topics before you do a long-term antenna installation. Thanks for watching.